So welcome right here to this voiceover that I'm doing on this video because the sound was not very good. It was too many people. And so this is the Huawei MateBook 14. It's 500 euro, $500 cheaper than the X Pro New, but it's got the same 8th generation Intel uh, i7 or i5 with a NVIDIA GeForce MX250 GPU. So uh, otherwise it's got exactly the same, but it's, you know, it's $14.99 instead of $19.99. It's got a one hub file sharing kind of thing that they have going on. A 1.49 kilo and 15.9 millimeter stick. It's a 3 by 2 aspect ratio display, 2160 by 1440. And with a very narrow bezel, 4.9 millimeters. So that's all you need to know right now. And uh, here I'm going to show you the keynote, which I filmed the highlights of right here. Thanks for watching. The MateBook 13 and the MateBook 14 together, you can see that uh, we have the very high screen to body ratio, and uh, the MateBook 14 we reached the 90% the screen to body ratio. And also, the resolution is a 2K level, and also with a good uh, color gamma. You watch the video, the, the photo, and the, the good feeling. Tessa. And also with the support of the NVIDIA uh, GeForce MX250, the latest graphic card. And the more important. Our new MateBook X Pro, Bodily Secures IO. This is our new. MateBook X Pro. <laughs> With this uh, new MateBook X Pro, we want to bring you ultimate design, innovative technologies, and our intelligent experience. We will share our diamond color. And this is ultra slim, uh, not light, but ultra slim. You can see that in the the thickest area only 4.9 millimeters. The thickest area only less than 14.6 millimeters. The bottom is fading in this. And this display panel, we are using a 3 to 2 the display ratio. In this way, we can make you to have much more, more large space to read. But losing 3,000 by 2,000. And also have a very high uh, color gamma, 100% sRGB, high brightness, high contrast, and also it's with a touch screen, um, Wi-Fi speed to over uh, 1700 megabit per second. Compare with the last generation, and compare with the industry the other PC, the speed uh, double the Wi-Fi speed. And also the port, we we the Thunderbolt three. We upgrade this uh, port to full speed, and you can expand the to 4K display, and also expand the support the external graphic card, and also for the much higher speed. I'd like to invite the vice president of brought together a breadth of Intel technologies across our compute, media graphics, and connectivity to tune and intelligently optimize that together. So we can use things like Turbo Boost to give you the best speed that you need when you need it the most. And so what that means for the user is you can edit together like your photos from Barcelona almost two times faster than just the last generation. Share that out and connect at gigabit speeds on Wi-Fi and simplify on a single Type-C connector. Bring together high-speed, blazing fast storage, multiple 4K displays, and external graphics with Thunderbolt 3 that you talked about. Have a the power key and the fingerprint together, just a single uh, touch. And the, the wall for uh, that is how to give you the best sound. With this quad speaker, a speed the frequency, and uh, also we cooperate with Ruby Atmos. We can bring you immersive audio experience. Change the video, the audio, and all the documents. So it's very community. You can see that 
you take a photo, sometimes you all have contents, you close to the to the PC, that's it automatically transfer to that. So this is really transfer this uh, funny video and an instant record screen on the display of my smartphone on real time. As Richard said, I have only two shake smartphone and one hop. Here one more time, and now I can push play. And as you can see on the smartphone, on real time appears the video that is on the display of the laptop. This is wonderful. And then this works with a backhaul, and uh, connected with the backhaul, uh, it's really a 5G network. And also to the consumers, and uh, you have Wi Fi 6. And uh, this hall, uh, this here, uh, in this area, is already covered by uh, 5G video coverage in this. Uh, it is launching here. <clears throat> they can achieve 3.2 gigabit per second already. So this is really, really the live level where you can have the fastest the CD. And now we fully use the 5G speed. We have been introducing the Wi Fi 6. The Wi Fi 6 maximum can support 4.8 gigabit. So you, with the Wi Fi 6 on this, you can fully use the 5G speed. Uh, our is a small water dust proofing with the uh, Ethernet, the power of uh, PoE, power e e over Ethernet the cable. You can you can connect to your home, the, the to your home routers. So this kind of wide charging, and also we support a large battery. So we make the your five G in your pocket with the Huawei five G mobile Wi-Fi. So this is our five G IoT devices. To give you more 5G uh, services. So that's the price and the value will be available. The PC, our main book, X Pro, the new X Pro, the price. And we have a uh, one is 1599. Another one we have uh, one, 1999. Oh, four nine nine. Oh, yeah. Four nine nine. Oh, wait. And our main book, 13, the price is here. Start from 999 uh, euros to maximum 1,399 euros. And uh, mid book 14, the price uh, start from uh, 1,199 euros. And uh, the world leading ICT technology and solution provider. We provide all the connectivity possibilities. Today my topic is connecting the future. Before that, I'd like to have a review of Huawei in the consumer business. If you see the last eight years, uh, we keep strong growth, and our revenue last year we reached over 52 billion US dollars globally. Today we received over 100 million smart devices globally last year, except you know, it's not include the uh, smartphone. 5 billion US dollars on the, our consumer business and the, our group, Huawei group, and uh, we have strong investment on technology and research and development.